All right, so we are officially in the DNN EAG Awareness Group meeting. All right, for March. Oh, my goodness, this year is already gone by. So these are the people that are in today's meeting. Uh, I don't know about Johnny and Clint. I mean, they said some pretty offensive things before the recording started. But, uh, you know, between Five Guys, Burgers and Fries and, and a shopping cart, we shall not mention. All right. <laughs> So our agenda, it's the same as before, uh, with our reviewing our goals and whatnot, and seeing what progress we have, and setting our goals, and so on. Uh, so our primary goals, do at least two things a month. Uh, you know, I consider that to be fairly easy. So uh, uh, the and generate the snowball effect. So uh, ideally, one of the things that we should be all be doing is, of course, trying to encourage other people to uh, do things. Right, so we shouldn't be the only people doing things. So, uh, you know, mentoring people will be able, be able to know that they can contribute in various ways, and then keep in constant contact. Which, by the way, I failed at that a little bit last few weeks. So, um, yeah. So, oh, yeah. So, real quick, the Dean and Summit Leadership Meeting. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail on this because this is going to be public. Um, but we had a sit down at Dean and Summit uh, with Andy, um, and and I think it's universally felt on all fronts in terms of the leaders. We're, we're waiting for him to make some decisions. Um, we're kind of in a stalemate here uh, in terms of like, what can we do? What kind of support do we have? What kind of direction do we have? Um, and, and so, and, and that doesn't mean the only, the only group that really truly doesn't affect is ours. Uh, the other groups are kind of, like they're kind of treading water at the moment, trying to figure out where to go. <clears throat> um, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just the state of the moment. Um, so, yeah, so we're, we're, that's, that's what happened with that. Is that where you're talking about, uh, Jeremy, in terms of the slide that you wanted to get to besides your uh, update? Oh, no, that was, that was Jay uh, speaking, but oh, no, that's, that, that was a different, different topic. No. Okay. Uh, welcome, Alessandra. And so, there was, uh, what was the other thing you wanted to discuss about the UN Summit? Uh, so, I, I, I was going to talk about, I guess it kind of falls into the awareness group, but the, the DNN Summit itself, um, Cassidy had, had asked for some proposals for next year's summit, uh, and I committed to getting her a proposal for putting it in Atlanta. Um, I toured a couple of different um, conference facilities last week and found one that I think would be absolutely perfect. So I'm trying to get a proposal template, maybe from one from last year or something, so I can kind of fill out all the details and budget numbers and things like that. Um, and if I can get that, I can, I can get that proposal into her and whoever else the decision makers are. Um, just not sure how to put that proposal together, but I, I did find a facility and space that would be absolutely perfect for what we need. So Jay, uh, Jay, this is Clint. I would say uh, try to be as swift as you can with that because we've got others also, uh, you know, getting ready to submit, like to try to have it in their city as well. And so I, I would say uh, if you want to send me an email, maybe CC Mitchell Sellers Cassidy and Will Cassidy is spelled with an I, not a Y. Um, mm -hmm. That would be best way to get it started. If you don't have their email address, I'll, I'll reply and uh, CC them. So um, okay. I'm just, let, let's just get the conversation started now before we go ahead and like you know, pull the trigger on some other location. Hey, yeah, no, I've already, talked to, I've already talked, talked to Cassie about it. She's expecting something from me. So I, I, she's out okay. this week. So I was, I was trying to contact her this week and she's out until Monday. So gotcha. Uh, yeah, she's on vacation. All right. Yeah. Clint, did, didn't she have like a spreadsheet she had put together that she thought it could be used as a template that she was using uh, for the Denver? Yeah, that's that's what I was looking for. She said she had something that she was going to send me, and then she said she tried to send me a link, and it, there was no link in the email she sent. So I was trying right. to get that template that she was talking about. Yeah, so I think that was JR and then Jay. Yes, Cassidy does have a spreadsheet which she was using to track costs. I mean, we also have one we're tracking, like, you know, who registered, things like that. Um, but yeah. I think that spreadsheet is the one she's referring to as it can kind of give you a glimpse into, like, hey, this is where your cost would be 
uh, incurred and things like that. So uh, we were trying to get that out to somebody else this week, and we don't have it. So everybody's kind of waiting on Cassidy to get back so we can get access to it. So, yes, okay. we have it, and we will get it to you at some point. All right, excellent. Okay. Uh, and then the other, just real quick, so I got a, I got a bolt here in a second, but uh, on the website messaging stuff, basically what I've done is I've, uh, I went out and put together a kind of proposal on what, what the homepage web uh, messaging could be, like you know, who we are, what we do, that kind of stuff, basics, basics, and I, I listed a bunch of examples of, you know, what is generally considered good websites, home, home pages in terms of messaging, you know, five or six different examples, so that we can kind of say, okay, this is very simple. I mean, you, you should be able to summarize your product or service in one sentence. Um, and, and then below the fold have more you know, secondary messaging that kind of speaks to your t different target audiences. And so what I've done is I said, what I think is, is our target audiences is basically three different groups. One is the business users, you know, the businesses that are, that are implementing uh, DNN and that's, you know, kind of C-level type people, the decision makers. You know, why is DNN, why should I choose DNN for my business? that kind of message. Secondary is going to be partners, uh, people that are selling DNN. Um, so maybe it's, you know, implementers or, you know, DNN partners, you know, why should they consider training their people on DNN and, and you know, why is DNN a good product to sell, um, become an expert in. And then the third one is developers. You know, why should, why should developers consider learning DNN and how to code in DNN and build DNN modules and things like that. So we can kind of have three different, target audiences below the fold where people can click and drill in and see more targeted information to each one of those concerns. Um, and so that's my, my, that's my initial thoughts. Uh, if you have any other ideas in terms of target audiences that we should be speaking to, I'm open to ideas. That's cool. So you have, it, it's a proposal, so it's kind of like just uh, uh, like a, a summary of like a brainstorm kind of thing. Yeah, kind of a brainstorm thing, and, I, and a lot of it was, you know, kind of brainstorming different ideas that I got from uh, people that were at the summit. You know, I talked to different you know, different people in terms of, hey, what is DNN to you? What does it mean to you? Why, you know, if you if you had to bullet point the top five things about DNN, what would it be? You know, those kind of you know buzzwords and things like you know the open source made in the USA. Um, you know, all those things that were. And I got I got a list sitting here, it's escaping me at the moment, but. Um, but I mean, you know, just things that you can put on the on the slides and, and have those, you know, buzzwords or whatever you want to call them to, to draw people's attention. So, hey, this is a rock solid platform that's been around a long time. It's stable. It's open source. It's you know that kind of thing. So that it's very clear what the product is, as opposed to now when you go to dnsoftware.com, you get this messaging about liquid content, and you go, I don't know what that is. I don't know what Evoke is. I don't know what liquid content is. I wanted to learn about DNN. What is this stuff? Um, so. Okay, hey, this, cool. is, uh, this is Johnny. Um, I, Jay, that's awesome that you put all this together, and I, I love the direction that you're going with it. Um, my kind of two thoughts into this is that there is still an overarching um, message that we're missing that encompasses everything that you're talking about right now, which is community. And the community is business users. It is partners. It is developers. It's that mom and pop shop that's, you know, working in their garage and designing their, uh, their website in DNN. And so, you know, while all three of those points are, are very important, I think part of the messaging that we need to relay is that this is a community where every person in each of those categories can come and get help. They can get everything that they need and they can feel like they're a part of something. Does that make sense? Yeah, great point. Yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's kind of the secondary tagline is, you know, the primary tagline is, hey, this is, the, 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 te the technology is, you know, what it is. The secondary tagline is, but it's backed by this community that, that that's here to, to help you or you know, something like that. Um, yeah. I'll work on the messaging there, but yeah, I like that. Yeah, you could try to work in, you know, open source, community, ecosystem, any of that messaging, I think, would be well received. Mm hmm
etc. Okay. Um, so real quick before you go, Jay, um, come on. Oh, so I'm going to get that out uh, probably later today. It might be might be tomorrow, depending upon how much how much work I got to get done today. But uh, I'll get that out and put put that in the Slack channel and uh, just you know give me your feedback. If you want to make any edits? I told Andy I'd get it to him by the start of this month, so I'm uh, right up against it right now. So Jay, I've got a question. Um, you know, obviously this is like you know high level like conceptual direction. Um, is there I don't know a specific person or a group of people that like we have in mind that would uh, I don't know design this based on what you're uh, presenting. I don't have it that far yet. I mean, what basically what Andy said was you know get us a, a level you know L1 spec whatever his thing was you know the, the 20,000 foot level spec and if we like it we'll go to the next level and you know get more granular and detail and then start actually designing graphics and layouts and things like that. But you know, right now it's just kind of high level messaging. What does your message be? <laughs> All right, so I, I, haven't, I haven't gotten down into who would actually do the design or anything like that. I'm definitely not a designer, so it wouldn't be me. <laughs> well, we can, I think we can find that. It's just, uh, we, we have to have something to give them first. So, you, you know, we're, yep. You want to put the cart for the horse. I, I think you're uh, going the right direction overall, um, and I really thank you for what you put together. Um, and I can't wait to see it. Now, uh, before you go, uh, myself, Nick Caliani, and Joe Brinkman and Will Morganweck, uh, we're going to be meeting on Monday um, because we're going to be putting together a proposal for San Francisco for DNC. Okay. Okay. Cool. And yeah, I think there's one coming from Dallas too. I think um, what I heard, yeah, Cassidy said Dallas wanted to do one as well. Yeah, so um, we're, we're we're one of our uh, ideas is we're going to be well, actually a couple of ideas. Uh, uh, somebody we used to work with at Dianne Corp, that's an event planner that works for an event planning company. We're going to try to get her involved, um, and uh, she has a lot of resources that she'll be able to bring to the table, um, and and that's almost certainly going to include like a little trip out to Napa. So, um, right. wine country. Oh, man. I like San Francisco. That'd be a fun trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. All right. Well, I got to run, but uh, appreciate everybody's time. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for your update. Thanks for what you've done this month. And we'll talk to you later. See you in Slack. Okay. See you later. Bye. <clears throat> We're supposed to meet on Friday, but apparently I'm going to be jumping out of a plane again. All right. Anyway, uh, anything else we need to talk about with DNS Summit? Hey, this is uh, Jeremy Ferentz. I just wanted to chime in on the DNN website to go back one step. Um, I remember I put into Slack my ideas about separating Evoke and the DNN platform. And I really liked the suggestion about enabling both the .com and the .org so that there are two sites. Is that something that's an eventuality, has at least some traction? What's the current thinking on that? Because it's it just seems so overly obvious to me that it, that's the direction we need to go. The majority of what exists under the hood legacy-wise for the DNN software site right now does seem like it belongs on the .org, and then we could, you know, let them do all the evoke stuff on .com. But anyhow, wh where does that stand? Is it likely? What What is it? What's the status on that? Do you know? Um, so... Uh, I think we were, I think you were in the same meeting I was, right, at the DNSM as like a partner meeting, and we brought that up. Um, and I was not I, there. I think we brought that up in front of Andy, even, and, and I think I was the one to start that particular part of the conversation, because uh, I've always been a fan of that idea. Um, you know, every idea has naysayers, no matter how good or bad it is, right? Um, so we, we did have a debate on it a little bit. Um, the But the overall... 
uh, direction that we have for any idea that we have is that if you think it's a good idea, put together the plan for it and uh, and it could be reviewed and it could be approved. Um, so so that I don't know that anybody's spearheading um, the putting the plan together to be able to look at um, uh, what this is. Um, so if you want to spearhead that, that would be great. I, I would love to, but I, uh, there's no time for me to do that right now. I'm still short two employees, and it's just not going to happen in the near term. I'm very willing to help proofread. I just probably could not create something like that from scratch right now and manage it. Yeah, so so that that's where that stands. So until somebody okay, so until somebody no, that's the answer I needed. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No, thank you. That's awesome. Um, John Bishop could come after all. All right. Uh, so next item. Um, so review. Basically, we're reviewing some of the things that happened. Oh, there's Lucas. Yeah, Lucas and Francisco are saying they uh, they were just asking in Slack, you know, hey, do we have a meeting? And I don't know, they didn't have the link, so we sent it. Yeah. So, all right. So the next thing we just talked about DM Summit uh, in the homepage. Uh, one of the other things is supposed to get done: uh, Hot Case Community Tools Review. Um, the video that we had to walk through, I wanted to post that, but I I like spent like three hours trying to get the um, like the obscure whatever to go over some of the uh, sensitive information like uh, you know um, some of the private keys for 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 API connection and some of the queries um, and it was not working <laughs> so I had to put that down uh, but basically there's a video where Sean walked us through all the settings and features and, and we all discussed how it worked um, and and we made some decisions in terms of making it open source. It has not been open sourced yet, but it was uh, announced at DNS Summit that it would happen um, as part of his keynote. So, um, oh, I'm not known for this yet. Uh, now, at DNS Summit, uh, no other actions. That's this. Well, I, I had a meeting with Sean about that this week. There was one of the topics. Um, he is supposed to be emailing me a zip file with some install. Or that he also said he updated it or enhanced it uh, over the weekend, maybe to go out to a couple different locations for data. Um, so I'm, I'm just waiting on uh, an email from him with that install, uh, and then I'll have to punt it over to our engineers to get it um, installed into the site. Um, because what I don't know is, like, obviously, you know, Evo has gamification, and I don't know if they're going to try to take what Sean has created and merge it with the Current like gamification, or if they're just you know going to have it a standalone. So, um, so that would not be my decision. Uh, it would be whatever they say. But once I get it, I'm going to punt it over to them, and we'll keep them all moving forward. So did he say he's going to put it into GitHub? Uh, he didn't say that. He just said that he would send me an email with uh, maybe an install file. I mean, I didn't really press him because we were talking about other things, and this was just one of the topics that we kind of. We went over it and I was like, all right, as long as you get it to me, that's good. So that was the original decision. Like, there's only so much you can be done if it's not open source. All right. Well, so that's the update for that. Thanks for that update, Matt. Uh, moving on. Uh, comments. Yep, I agree, David. Uh, and, and, oh, I agree on both of those points. <laughs> All right, so champions, so these are the champions for the various areas of focus that we have as a group. Um, if you see an area uh, on this that you, um, uh, and Clint, it is recurring, there was an invite that's out there. Anybody who's not part, of, and I'll try to look at Slack and, and resend it to the people I see mentioning the Slack, but anybody who's missing the meeting invite on their calendar, uh, just let me know, and I'll just try to resend it to you. Um, but... The, yeah, so these are the uh, areas that we're focusing on and the people that are champions for those areas. So if you see anything that you want to be part of that you can help with in any way, 
uh, please do uh, let myself know, uh, and, and I'll get you on a list and, and add you to the proper stuff in order to continue to help with it. All right. With that being said, we did, we already talked about the DNN homepage messaging um, because uh, Jay had to leave early, so we went ahead and talked about that early. Um, we had some other ideas and, and, and talk about that. Uh, all right, increasing social activity. Uh, so who's that? David P. Clinton Will. David, Clint, and myself, do we have an update on this? I was just frantically trying to log in to, uh, to the DNN Awareness uh, Twitter account here and see. I mean, I know just out of general uh, interaction and so forth has really increased a lot. Um, I think people are starting to use the DNN CMS hashtag much more now. Uh, so that's a that's a good thing. Um, give me a minute. I'll get into this account and see if I can get some metrics. So the DNN CMS hashtag was giving you use more. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, just go and go you know, do a search on it and you know compare it over like last month and you'll or previous months and you'll see. Steady increase. Okay. Um, I personally don't have an update on this, so I'm going to go ahead and out myself on this. Uh, no update. Uh, Do you have anything that you want to mention on, the, on this topic? I mean, I've been tweeting and retweeting and doing a lot. If there's a number I can associate with it, but I've been trying to be very active. Uh, I recorded a Garth Brooks Ireland video for DNN Connect, put it on Facebook and Twitter. Hey Clint, are you recirculating like um, popular blogs and um, reusing the hashtag? No, I see like you're doing that from Fortuitous. I think uh, Ernst Peter is doing that as well. I mean, we will. I mean, as far as me personally, I mean, I'm just tweeting whatever, but from DNN Corp and DNN Store, we're promoting like store blogs, any blogs that get posted in the community blog channel, and then we're trying to directly engage and interact with people. Like right now, there's a lady that's got a question I'm trying to, you know, respond to her. So I'm just trying to, you know, keep the conversation going and help people out that need help. And a lot of times, you know, I'll post in the awareness Slack channel, like community help, and I really appreciate you guys, uh, you know, Typing up and responding on Twitter uh, where, where you see fit. So I, I, my strategy is just to engage with people and uh, promote good content that we have, Johnny. Gotcha. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know that we have a section for it, but you just mentioned something that's important. Uh, so maybe it can go under that. Um, that bucket, but uh, uh, Ben responding, responding. There we go. Responding uh, to DNN forum Q and A uh, posts. And in fact, one of them I, I even took the extra time. Uh, there was somebody wanted to export and import uh, site settings, portal settings. Um, so I, I wrote a SQL script for for that that individual, uh, and it, it was very well received. It, don't, it only took me like ten minutes to do, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, yeah, okay, so that's increasing social activity. Blogs, uh, do we have an update on blogs? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, before we get to that. A link from Mr. Poindexter. Yeah, it's just a search on Twitter for the hashtag and you can kind of get an idea of the level of activity that's going on out there. Man, I'm at home and it's not loading fast. What's up? Look at that latest. Yeah. That thing kind of filters, right? So it's top. He goes at the top. Look at that handsome devil there. Look at that. All right. Um, let 
Yeah, so there's no no way to like quantify it. Well, you'd need some tool. This is what I was mentioning before, yeah. some sort of tool to you know to really gather actual metrics and stuff on all this. There is okay. some analytics that's built into the Twitter account, but uh, to me, it's not really indicative of what we're trying to measure. Uh, we're really trying to not measure activity in this account itself, but rather, you know, our engagement with this account is more hashtag usage and general conversation going on in the community, right? Yeah. I think us three um, uh, need to try to make a point over the next month to discuss strategy and, and so that way we can have a more formal update. That would be great. All right. Um, and every time I save, and I don't want to not save, but every time I save, my uh, PowerPoint freaks out. There we go. Now we're back. All right, blogs. And so blogs would be uh, Clint, myself, Don G, and Dennis, who's not here today. Um, Clint, I know you watch this more than anybody else. Do you have an update on this by any chance? Well, let me unmute. Um, so, I mean, obviously I'm posting blogs. Um, the So we got the, the DNN release archives. If people don't know about that, that so if you, need to know how you can do that. Really, the only like recent kind of like content blogs, I would say, would be uh, written by Jeff Barlow about his CSS grid. Mr. Poindexter posted one about implementing speed bumps in DNN. I'm not sure how far back we're going. Um, he's got MB Quick theme. So I would say we've been a little bit on the low end probably for community contribution of blogs. Um, but I do know, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes and people are planning um, you know, blogs in the future. So I will continue to post. All right. Yeah. So I don't. So it's sounds kind of like we didn't meet our goal of five a month on this, uh, this particular month. February. Well, I guess if you're counting mine, we would have five. Well, so both of Jeff's. Well, one of Jeff's was in February, and then I mean, like my blogs for February are DNN and Digest, in an MVP meeting, then theming webinar, then. In and connect conference preview. So, and one thing you'll see is that like the webinars, we're doing community focused webinars now, and um, we are, you know, turning those around into blogs so that like if you weren't on the webinar, you can go back and rewatch them. So, we may have barely hit our quota. But I was also out <clears throat> with a baby and low on sleep, so maybe I can drink some Red Bull this month. And if anybody is on this call or watching this video and you want a blog and you don't have access, uh, just send me an email. I can easily configure your blogging access. Excellent. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, and that goes back to the snowball effects. Like anybody uh, that feels like they want to say things, and, and you don't have to feel like you're the experts on anything. You don't have to feel like, oh my God, what if I say something wrong? You know, that's what the community is about. Like, we're here to help. So anybody that uh, uh, wants to blog on the dnnsoftware.com website, um, yeah, just reach out to Clint. All right. Hey, Will. Um, yes. Sorry to jump back here, but I, I just used a, just did a quick sample uh, pull on some engagement and stuff, you know, using the DNN CMS hashtag. Mm -hmm. um, pretty interesting stats here. There's been uh, over the uh, past... Uh, month, there has been 252 posts uh, that has reached over 69,000 people uh, spread across 39 users and 898,000 plus impressions. And uh, I've got a nice little tag cloud of some of the top tag clouds right now. It looks like uh, uh, surprisingly, uh, DNN Connect 2018 and NB QuickSight are, are the top ones right now, but there's a lot of others in there. 
and uh, it, some of the sentiment uh, measurements in here is pretty interesting. 46.4% uh, is a positive sentiment in the community, 49% uh, is neutral, and 4.4% is a negative sentiment. The demographics are staggering male uh, dominant at 95.9%. Um, the sources of everything is pretty spread across, and um, there are 50% of the posts are being retweeted. Uh, 40 of 40% 40 of those are original. I know I'm going really fast here, uh, but uh, and then 9.9% uh, of them are getting replies. What was the unfavorable one? That's an important one. It's 40 something percent. 4.4%. 4. 4. 4. Oh, 4.4. 4. Oh. Yeah, so it's really low uh, as far as negative sentiment. So, you know, I could probably tell you who those people are. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to spoil that right now. Right. But um, the, the, if you go to keyhole.co, um, you can look at a sample um, tracker report just putting in the keyword there. And, uh, yep, there you go, the first search result there. And that's where I'm pulling these stats from. I'm sure we could find some other kind of free tool out there, but yeah, if you just put in DNN CMS for the hashtag there and search on that, you'll see the see what I'm looking at. Oh, they're slicing and dicing data. Oh my God. Yeah, that'll take a, a little bit to run. Uh, that's why it took me so long to come back in. Oh, let me forget. Um, and, okay, Clint, you handle that good. All right. Oh, apparently some people aren't able to see the video right now. That's an interesting message. And speaking of video, uh, videos. Um, so has anybody been posting videos over the past month? We have a bunch queued up, but they haven't been posted yet. Um, well, this this may be the appropriate time for me to read Don Gingold's uh, email that he sent. Okay. So he says, hi, gents. I'm sorry I can't make the meeting today. I'm driving in the hills of Tennessee, returning from vacation, and sales service is spotted. Here's a quick a report for the video. He says, uh, you know, he made those three awareness videos, which were favorably accepted. I think he's basing that on, you know, email, Twitter, and DNN Summit feedback. He says DNN Corp ran the videos on their channels. Uh, he also um, facilitated a great, uh, well, he says a group shot uh, at DNN Summit. So everybody's probably seen that, uh, which is good. Uh, Dennis Shaw gave uh, Don four websites to consider for new videos. Um, and he says that Andy Treba shared his term marketing pull request during his keynote and so that marketing is getting mainstream. He also said that he got some cool AE, uh, AEG bugs and the hashtag belongings. I think some people who went to DNS <laughs> you know, ecosystem advisory group um, mugs. Uh, and then he says that I called him the voice of DNN on a webinar, was, which was a proud moment for him. And uh, he says, upcoming, more awareness videos He's going to have a new, longer one minute. We'd love to, I can't really read it because he put like heart emojis. He like, we heart, we heart to include IT because of .NET, marketing heart because of front end, ease of use, developers, or maybe it's love, developers love because of modularity and standards. So what I take from it is that he's going to make some new videos and they're going to be longer and maybe he's focusing on IT, marketing, and development. Uh, he says, that's all he has for now. Please share at the meeting, and he will watch the replay and catch up. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, well, yep. I had this one here. Um, so just whatever it's worth mentioning, I pushed forward two new tips this past month. There's also the news that we that we we have the chat on a monthly basis. So if you want to account 
three, you no know, two tutorials and one new type of uh, video for the community. You no, know, those are not so much of pushing out there, but within you know tutorials and within the community. You no. Know. So. Uh, two, two, two. And Will, I don't know if you count a webinar as a video, but previously, you know, people would have to register for the webinar and they could only get access to see it if they registered, then they'd get the replay. And like that theming webinar we did with Ralph, uh, Tracy, and Jeff, there was a lot of really good info in that and it is posted now in the blog and on YouTube. So if you want to count that, and I also did a video for the DNN Connect pre conference interview, but uh, both of them, I think, are free. You know, they've got good content. Okay, you know, yeah, and just for the news one that uh, we did just last week, there was, you know, a segment for, for Didn't Connect and a segment for a potential new control panel that, uh, you know, there's a, this guy that uh, is, was showing his uh, potential control panel for, for Didn't. So just wanted to mention that. Anderson, how many? What would, you you gave out the number of videos. What, what was it again? You got two tips, and then what else? It was, it was two tips and one one daily news. You know, which is a, a longer, oh, yeah. two short tips and one very very long talk. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, awesome. Thank you, guys, gentlemen. New update extensions. So. Uh, where are we at? So Jay's not here. The Shunts is not here. Uh, so no update at this time. Um, so just for anybody who might be new, uh, the focus there is to try to in increase and encourage um, more new extensions and more uh, updates of existing ex extensions. And so, uh, you know, anything that, that can be done towards that goal. So if anybody else wants to help with that as well, because, you know, with two people being there, it could be spread kind of thin, uh, especially across time zones. And, and Jay's really focused on the messaging right now. Well, I'm not sure if it's an extension or not, but MV Quick Theme seems to be getting a lot of cra uh, traction out there for uh, for helping theme themers. Just in case somebody here um, doesn't know what that is, can you just like say what it is real quick? Yeah, it's more of a, a framework uh, for developing themes uh, quickly and using best practices and being highly optimized. Uh, so it kind of gets you out of the, the old way of doing things and using some modern tooling, uh, command line driven and so forth, using your favorite editor. Um, but uh, you can check it out at nvquicktheme.com. It's open source and on GitHub. Thank you, sir. And we do have Perfect. a new release of MV Quick Thing coming out uh, either this week or early next week. Well, if we want to announce uh, open source extensions that's been released uh, a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, I think a week and a half ago, uh, Hotcakes Commerce, the Hotcakes Commerce version 03.01.00 was released, and another release is coming in about a week. Very nice. All right, and, and there's been a lot of updates by the community. So uh, anybody watching this, thank you for your updates. We really appreciate it, your pull requests and whatnot. All right, um, training and courses. So Tracy's not here. Who else is part of that? I think Tracy, Clint, Gabby, and Luke. Yeah, um, we've done a lot of videos for training with Tracy, but he's currently investigating and deciding which ones will go uh, public for everyone. So Tracy is the best person to speak about it right now. Hey, Clay, you, you should share what you're uh, doing with uh, the guy you met with this week. Oh, yeah. So and let's appreciate that reminder, David. So last year, uh, I spoke at a recent high school in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And uh, the teacher reached out to me uh, maybe three weeks ago, and you know he's got a student. He's taken. He calls it an IB class, which is like an international baccalaureate. I can't say it or spell it like class, 
But anyway, the guy's got a project he's got to do. He had to stand up a website and, you know, get everything done. And so um, I told the kid I would help him. And through like weeks of emails, uh, screen shares and meetings, um, he, he used MV QuickSight, you know, I, and his major hurdle was just getting all the old outdated school stuff <clears throat> current. Uh, but we've got to get inside up and running. He's like, you know, all in love with it now. And, uh, I'm hoping he'll get a good grade, but what I want to do is um, at the end, I may write a blog about it and then get some quotes from him or something. Uh, but he, you, you can just see the light bulbs like going on, like turning on in his head. And, uh, and I was like, hey, you know, we've got a user group. You can, you know, join this. This kid's going to Michigan State to play soccer next year. So he's doing all this stuff. Like, like he and I had a meeting from 8 until 1030 the other night. Um, you know, because his, his practice schedule is crazy or whatever. So long story short, you know, working with a high school kid, he's got a side up and running and uh, he, you know, theming, learning about OSS, getting some modules up and running and uh, pretty positive experience. Very cool. Uh, that's what And Mark is going to be presenting at the Dayton Developers meeting in Dayton, Ohio. Oh, H. All right. Well, in terms of uh, curriculum, then uh, I've been showcasing DNN to the university that we talked about in the groups. Mm -hmm. And they have like 18 faculties, and already three of them agreed to migrate their WordPress Joomla sites to DNN because it's easier for them to maintain and build all their old functionality and permissions in DNN rather than Joomla and WordPress. So uh, I have a lot of meetings with other faculty di directors or deans, if you like, uh, within the next two months, so I will give frequent updates about that. Awesome. That's outstanding. Thank you, sir. Um, we're missing something here. So, training of the sessions, curriculum, theme, theme creation. Tracy uh, is not here. Lucas, have you, have you all been releasing any new themes recently, anything open source primarily? We are building some things to be released open source, uh, but we are not ready yet, sorry. Uh, we are now finishing our first one, and I think there are other two on the way for the next quarter. Have you been doing? Uh, have you guys had any activity about like helping others also like release open source things? Uh, I'm helping uh, a couple of developers that I uh, tried to. I reached over for the developers group. Um, you know, getting opinions on how they see at the end and how they code in the end and everything like that. And uh, one of them is pretty much involved. Uh, he liked how you can build a module in DNN, and uh, he's thinking of releasing a couple of open source uh, modules so he can promote his work as a freelancer. So, yeah, that goes well, but I don't know, I don't have any specific dates to give, sorry. Okay, no worries. Thank you, sir. And using the program. <clears throat> All right, uh, so now moving on to the speaker program, music, pro music group program, I'm going to give an update for both of those. Um, the, and it's gonna be the same update. So this is, act, these two areas are actually something where we are kind of in a, like, so, so something I mentioned in the very beginning with the terms of meeting, and so let's see here, we got seven minutes, good. Um, the, you know, there's certain things that, certain decisions we're waiting on from Andy, and, and I think those decisions slightly impact what we can and can't do with the speaker program and the user group program. Because uh, uh, we're, we're missing strategy at the highest level. And, and that, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but uh, in a holding pattern. So uh, that's where that stands at the moment. Uh, we can do some stuff here. I'm just afraid that we're going to end up having to duplicate our work, do it over again. Um, so those of us that are, are uh, champions for that, we can take that offline and, and see if, like, maybe you feel differently about it. And 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 if you do, then that's awesome, and we'll fix it. All right. Um, 
So monthly goals. By the time, um, <laughs> good man, Mark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> monthly goals. So by by this time next month, we should see at least five blog articles published. So there's more than enough people here to write a blog. Your blog does not need to take 15 hours to write. Like you know, even something small. Uh, you know, something. You know, a few paragraphs long that's, that's useful to people, and maybe like you know, a couple images. Uh, anything at all uh, is going to be helpful for the community. Um, and I think we're going to always have at least two YouTube tutorials. But uh, so maybe we need to consider, and we can talk about this in Slack. Maybe we need to consider raising that number um, because as long as there's an Addison Oliveira, I think we're going to always have at least two YouTube videos. <laughs> um, so uh, by the end of Q1, which, shoot, we got a whole month, uh, hopefully we're going to see a training course released somewhere in the world. Um, you know, I, there's plenty of training uh, websites out there, so hopefully uh, Tracy, Lucas, Alessandra, and, and whoever else is involved with that, hopefully we can see that released and we can all uh, retweet it and, and, and talk about it and get the word out. Um, and then uh, five new and open, uh, updated open source extensions by the end of Q1. Honestly, I feel that number is low. Um, I, I would really like to be able to say 10, uh, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Long-term goals, just to review those. Uh, by the end of uh, uh, the first half of the year, we should hopefully see at least 18 new blog articles. Uh, I think we're going to kill that. I think we're going to knock that one out of the park. Uh, 24 tutorials, two training courses, 10 update extensions, and so on. We double at the end of the year. Now, uh, open forum. So anything that we did not discuss yet, uh, any, and, and you know what, I'm, for the open forum, I'm going to follow a pattern we've been doing somewhere else. I'm going to stop the recording um, so that way you can feel free to you know, say anything that you want. Um, and so give me just a second. <laughs>